Hello, and welcome to Midwest Horizons, also known as the uh, New Holland Feed Yard. It's finally the afternoon, and uh, the, uh, well, what what did we call it? The uh, Gong Show? Yeah, yeah, no, it, it's still in full effect. Let's see if we can survive this afternoon and uh, get everybody limed, planted, bailed, and all that other stuff because yeah this is about to be some absolute mayhem again if you guys like today's video feel free to smash that thumbs up if you're new around here consider subscribing and with that i i guess we'll get into it now so that way we can uh have less issues we're gonna run around get all these outside bales picked up hopefully so that way issues like what you see in front of us won't happen because even though they used to in 19 course play workers uh don't you know recognize where bales are anymore and this should help to alleviate some of the uh issues we've been having because yeah it's impossible to keep up with every oh oh and that combine's full yeah you're just got to wait there bud sorry not sorry we will uh we'll get to you here in a few you know i think to uh help alleviate some of the uh stress that we're gonna be having or or already having i should say I might rent a couple of those self-propelled bailers so that way I or at least rent one so that way I can have one worker um planting which will probably be on our T8 with the case early riser and then I'll have the self-propelled baler running and then the T7 will also be bailing at the same time yeah I mean what what could go wrong well, I mean, it's it's not like our workers are already causing massive issues. Why not double down, right? Yeah, it'll be fine. Before we can actually get to planting, I kind of need to throw down some lime on this little field over here. I think it's field 37. We need to get some lime down and then we'll take our uh, self-propelled baler and we just ended up buying that. Then we will go and, ooh, okay, we did get it. We'll get all that running. We'll get the T8 on the planter. Now, before we can get the T8 on the planter and the self-propelled baler that we ended up buying running, we need to get this field for, or not fertilized. Why did I say fertilized? Soybeans. Soybeans don't need fertilizer. Um, We need to get it limed. There we go. All right. We have self-propelled baler set up, putting out 180 centimeter bales. Don't ask me exactly how much. I, actually, I think it's supposed to be like 11,000 liters, something like that. Oh, we got lucky how close we were to the semi because our grain cart is almost full and that combine's filled to the brim. Off of these two fields alone, we got 97 11,000 liter straw bales all right we finally got a little bit of time so we're gonna use it to the best of our abilities we're gonna get this headland done straighten out this field a little bit kind of fill in this little spot right here and then we're gonna hire a worker get a worker running on it because we don't have time to fully plant this whole entire field before we're gonna need to go run, pick up bales, do something. You know, get bales out of people's way. It's just, we're gonna make it. It's just gonna be tight. It's, it's not gonna be easy for us to uh, actually get this done before really late tonight. Oh, great. I was just notified one of our workers is out of fuel in our rush 
to get everything done and which is how fed up I was when we finished up the field and moved everything over I forgot to fill up the combine never got notified another workers never told me that uh we were running low I think we might have a fuel trailer I'm just not a hundred percent sure I don't know well we got to go fill them up regardless so let's run over to the pickup or go check the Quonsets and then uh hook up the pickup and go fill up our combines because I know the other one's not far behind okay I do see a fuel trailer do we have anything in it oh it's full yes um I, I thought you said that these were empty we still got like 11 liters of fuel left all right oh well well we got to get it properly positioned I think it's on this side I, I don't remember now it's first time in a long time that I've actually had to use one of these all right all right all right come on come on start filling you, you gonna work or not all right well, well we'll get it figured out there we go now she's working yeah now we're getting some diesel in there all right crisis averted just taking up more time though well i think i found the one that ran out because uh number one was still running but this this combine wasn't so yeah um uh we're, we we cut this one way too close but since that combine was full i ran grabbed the grain cart real quick then i'll take this combine i'll unload it we'll get them back to running i didn't get you guys your double dump earlier so i'll do one better here's a triple dump oh yeah triple dump baby and we are done harvesting now it's just time to uh get to work and get everything bailed and hopefully we'll get this big field planted i'm i'm not 100 percent sure that we will but hopefully we can one major major bonus um <laughs> of taking out those wood woods or whatever you want to call them um we got an extra hundred thousand liters L let me say that again 100,000 liters of oats how much more money that's gonna be oh this is gonna be awesome I cannot wait for this payday all of our headlands for the uh lime have been ran so I think I'm going to uh grab the t7 get another uh decent sized planter rented just like I did during the wheat and we'll go run a uh, strip of beans around a headland for this big boy and get to planting because it's already 4 46 in the afternoon and yeah i'm not i'm not too uh excited to be planting this late in the day but we got to get it done and also we got 196 bales off of this field alone oh it's been a busy day just a little bit more we're, we're almost there we're almost done since we ended up you know using this uh pretty much exact same planter during uh our oat when we're planting all of our oats i just ended up buying it now i'm going to go and hit pretty much i'm gonna try and level this corner off with you see back there where I kind of came down I'm gonna try and flatten this out make it a lot easier for the uh worker to turn around do everything that they need to do and then I'll run up to the top do four passes go down to the bottom do another four or five 
can't remember exactly how many I had to do to uh, equal it out, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to call it there, guys. You guys enjoyed today's video. Feel free to smash up, smash that thumbs up button. There we go. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I know that there's a lot of new people right now. And YouTube is actually telling me that something like 40% of you guys aren't even subscribed. And if you guys made it this far in the video, you're going to like my other content. So just make sure you go hit that button. And with that, I will see you all later.